What is going on guys, it's Skeletor here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, and by the way, I'm not Skeletor anymore. Last time we left off, we, <laughs> we got a bunch of uh, chi fruit, and uh, we put them inside like seed makers, and then we like planted out all the seeds that we got. We basically ended up doubling our numbers by just putting them in the seed makers, so that was pretty good. As well as I updated my mods finally for the first time in like months, so uh, I don't know if there's anything new necessarily, I think I need to disable that again. Uh, but I did install that dialogue mod that I talked about last episode where it's supposed to like add variety of dialogue between all the NPCs and we're not literally saying the exact same thing every single time, right? Where's that thing that I just saw like a billboard? Oh, there it is right there. Calendar and billboard button. Yeah, that, I think that was the thing that we had uh, turned off last time. So let's keep that as is. And I think everything else it works fine, right? Like, yeah, it's showing my luck and whatnot. I can still look things up like that. Yeah. And uh, I think, hold on, people are still on the map. Yeah, people are still on the map, so that's good there. Where's Penny at? She has, okay, she's outside right now, okay. I kind of want to go check and see if she says, like, the same stuff still or, or what, because the only way that you can tell if the mod is even working if you, like, talk to Shane is a lot more peaceful than my old spot. I think she said that before. She said anything, if you want my mother, wait, what? If you want my mother to like you, give her glazed yams. Has she said that before? I don't remember. But isn't, I think Pam's maxed out too, so I don't think we have to worry about her necessarily, right? Now, speaking of such, yeah, last episode we also gave Alex and I think Sandy, or was it Shane? No, I think, yeah, it was Alex and Shane that we gave us uh, some gifts, so that's good. I might want to take one to the movie. Someone actually commented last episode reminding me that, yeah, there's a heckin' movie theater, so maybe we'll take one of them to the movies, especially because it's Saturday night, so it's basically the best time to do that, right? So, anyways, what I want to do now is, yeah, you can see all the seed makers over there. I definitely want to go grab all the chief fruit that we have done. I think some of the Junimos might be grabbing them as well. Found some good quality stone. Okay, George, I don't know why you're just mailing me stone. Golly, that must have been super expensive just to mail actual rocks, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, let me do some of this morning busy work real quick. Milk, uh, cheese, eggs, and all that kind of stuff. And I want to see if we're going to get another doubling of our chi fruit over there. If so, we might be on track to actually do this mission. Was it ship 500 of these chi fruit before the end of the month? If it just keeps doubling every time we put them in the seed makers, that'd be amazing, you guys. All right, so these should be done here in just a second. So let's just wait until those are done. As well as, yeah, last episode, co so incompetent that I can actually... Wait, what in the world? Why do we get mixed seeds? Did I accidentally put something wrong in these? And we got mixed seeds out of them or what? I need to look at my footage. I'm pretty sure I was holding sheaf. We've got 16 right there. So did we put eight of them in there or two, three, four, five? Six? No, I, th I think we did actually get scammed a little bit right there. So that kind of sucks. We've got some mixed seeds randomly. I don't know if that was because of one of the mods that I updated or what, because I don't think it did that at the end of the last episode where we kind of previewed. Get out of the way, Janemo. What are you doing, man? And by the way, I sound a little bit better than my last video where I was in Minecraft Legends and it sounded like a heck in Minecraft Villager or Squidward or something like that, but it's been like three or so days since I recorded that video, so I, I hopefully sound a little bit closer to normal today. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think, but right now let's go check up on the Genemo hut or the uh, slime hutch over here, and we already have, what is that, three slime balls over there? That's amazing! Oh my gosh! And we have a green slime egg right there, another day until that's done, but how many slimes did we get right there? We got 46, we have eight inside of here, okay, so... We need to have a hundred, I think, in order to get another slime egg. But I think we only need 50 in order to get another oil maker, right? So, yeah, we have enough right there. So we need to get some hardwood and gold bar, which I think we actually smelted some gold last episode. So let's go make another oil machine maker thingy doohickey. I think I might have some uh, truffles up in storage that might be ready to be processed into truffle oil. Yeah, there you go. Another oil maker right there. Yeah, we got a lot of hardwood. We cut down a bunch of uh, mahogany trees last episode, so bolstering that number even more there. And yep, yeah, look at that. Another truffle right there. We got to pet the goat. You betcha. <laughs> I forget how dumb these animal names are. It's amazing. See if there are any more truffles. I don't think I see any right there, so let's grab the oil maker. Put it right. Wow, a truffle right where I'm going to put the oil maker. That's insane. Get out of the way, rabbit. Get out of the way, duck. What are you doing? Man, I need to place it there. Okay, well, <laughs> put that in there. Another one right there. Let's see if we have any up in storage on my... Yep, we have 10 right there. Yeah, so that's why we definitely want to get more of these uh, oil makers so we can actually process these a little bit faster and I don't build up a bunch of them in storage. Oh, by the way, I forgot to go over here to... What is this guy's name? Prumbus? <laughs> Throw him up in the air like so, there you go, because now we're actually able to interact with him and start building some parts with him, I think, right? I think, I, yeah, I already right-clicked on Gungus, already right-clicked on Penny, so kind of want to go ta around town, honestly, see if we could interact with anyone, see if there's any new dialogue with this new mod I have installed. All right, let's actually go to the movie theater. I kind of want to see if we could watch a movie with Alex and maybe gain some uh, friendship with him. That'd be really nice, especially because I haven't been to the movies in forever. So let's actually go to the uh, railroad over here. Oh, speaking of Alex, looks like we have a cutscene over here. That's a good boy, Dusty. 
Man, how long ago would this have been if I didn't just neglect Alex for the entire series? Well, at least the doghouse is like repaired now. It's not all like decrepit and whatnot. You might be the only one around here who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. Oh. Oh, he's sweating over there. And of course, I'm in the bushes just watching from afar in my creepy skeleton outfit. <laughs> Waffle, did you overhear me talking? Oh. Yes, I heard everything. No, not really. Why? You know what? You know what? I heard everything. And I understand you, Alex. Uh-oh, was that a bad thing? Should I not have done that? Oh, jeez, now he's sweating. Uh, I don't really like to talk about it, but I guess I'll explain. Oh, what is it? Uh, have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? You see, my father wasn't a good guy. He, well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. Half of the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless, that I'd never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young, bitter because he'd wasted his youth doing nothing and had gotten nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what was really going on in his head. One day he left and soon after that, mom got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. Oh. Dot dot dot. You seem like someone I could trust. That's why I'm telling you this, Waffle. I don't want any sympathy. If there's one good thing about my past, it's that it made me strong. You know what, that's true. Pressure uh, makes diamonds or whatever. The, there's, there's a saying in there somewhere, right? Golly. <laughs> Now, let me show you what Dusty will do for a barbecued steak. <laughs> oh my gosh! Ha! <laughs> Look at him slobbering. I think he might like steak as much as I do. Look at the dog's face! His eyes are popping out of his head! <laughs> I don't even know that steak has been barbecued. It's like blood red, golly. Anyways, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's call my horse over here. Save me like 10 steps, I guess. There you go. And then, of course, we're going to go back to Alex here in a minute and actually give him a, a movie ticket, right? Buy him from here, I believe, right? Yeah, movie ticket. So I need to buy one for him and I need to buy one for myself. So there you go. He is where? Where is he? Oh, man, he's actually on the beach right now. What in the world? There's Harvey. Uh, Waffle, how nice of you to stop and say hello. Is that new? I feel like that's new. It's been a quiet but fascinating day for me. I've been reading up on some more famous pilots. I feel like that's new. I don't think he's ever referenced the whole pilot thing ever since we walked in and we got that like cutscene of him like on the radio communicating with a pilot or something like that, right? Uh, we got more worms right here. Is that him? We got wild bait taro too. Yeah, see, I'm looking for more, uh, what's it called? Chief seeds or whatever, but here he is right here. Ah, the island life. I could get used to this. Let's actually see. He's at four out of eight hearts right there. Oh yeah, he's saying the same thing over again. But if I give him the ticket, a movie, yeah, whatever. That sounds good. See you at the theater. So is he not like the movies or something? I guess so, huh? Man, I don't even know what was even playing. I need to look at the posters next time. Yeah, look at that. We got a coming soon Wombus? <laughs> is that a slime? Natural wonders exploring our vibrant world. Take a tour through the lands of the Ferngill Republic. From the Fern Islands to Zuzu City, this world is full of life. So is that supposed to be like Planet Earth or some of that? Do you want to spend your movie ticket? Yeah. So let's, let's watch the movies with Alex. Oh yeah, and I forget there's like literally... But oh hey, look at that. I forgot about the vending machine. That guy isn't hogging it anymore. Let's see what we can actually get over here. How's this work again? So we have to go... Oh yeah, it's two. What do we want to get? Let's try and get... Oh, what in the world? Oh, there you go. Okay. Let's try and get one of those Junimos, maybe a pink one, and we can give that to Gungus. Did I already do that? I feel like I already gave uh, Gungus a pink one. Or maybe not, I don't know. I'm mean, like, she's already got a giant... Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Go, 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 come on, come on, come on! No! Oh, I didn't even get the rabbit that was next. Man, I really need to work on that timing a little bit better. Man. Alright, well... At least there's two of them, so it should be a little bit easier. I forgot I can actually control the green using the keyboard, so... There you go. So we can actually kind of see where it is with the shadow that's on the ground. Let's actually do this. Let's go. And there you go. Now, wait until it heads down. Oh, oh, wow. I got it right there. Wow. Is it going to fall out, though? I think it is. They always can fall out. Right. But I knew it. I knew it. Golly. All right. Well, we have what? Yeah. What? One more credit. So there you go. Let's wait until it comes around again. Maybe wait until it's like at the bottom center or something like that. That way there's time for the crane to like start heading down. There you go. Come on, come on! 
I got it, I got it. Is that a good grip? Is it going to fall out again? I don't know. And there we go. All right, so we got one for Gungus. Yeah, we get the small Janima plush, the pink one. There was a blue one in there too, right? We can give that to Prumbus or whatever it is. What? I forgot about that. Hold on. Yeah, there's like three, four of them in there, actually. There's like a movie post. There's a gold. Oh, should I get the gold one? Let's try and get the gold one. It's going to be kind of tough, though, because it's on that part. And it's all the way over there, so there's more travel time for it to fall out when it was heading back to the crate, right? But let's go about right now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to get the fern or whatever. No, I was a little bit too early. Golly. And a little bit too early to try and get it right now, but let's wait until it's at the bottom center-ish. We'll move down, so about right here. No, that's a little bit too early. I'm gonna get the fern again. Ah, man. Oh, well, if we get this thing, at least it's going to be nice decoration, right? It's probably gonna fall out anyways. Yeah, it's just falling out. So it always fall out if it's on the right side and then it just lands on that second conveyor belt anyways? I don't know. Man, I want to wait until it's at the bottom left corner if that's the case. Let's, let's wait until then. Oh, man, come on. No, the time's going to run out, actually. Oh, no. Okay, good. Try, 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 try. <gasps> get it, get it. Oh, I'm in. oh, I get the bear. What in the world? It wasn't even touching the bear. How'd that even happen? Uh, well, if I get it, I guess that's good. Hey, I'm not even getting it. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll pay another 500. Oh, it's not even going to be there, is it? It's going to reset. I'm not going to get the gold one. I don't think I am. Oh, wait. Whoa, there's three of them. You know what? Let's try and get the one that's like right here then. I feel like it might be a little bit easier. Let's go down. Oh, let's go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Oh, that was like perfect. Come on. So can I get multiple? Because if I get it on the first credit, yeah, boom. Awesome. There's like a giant pink bunny over there, too. Should I try and get that? I don't know. I feel like because it's like physically bigger, it might be harder to like grip. And it might fall out easier. I don't know. Should I get another gold one? I don't know. They seem kind of common. Let's try and get the fucking bunny. Can I get the bunny? Oh, what in the world? Oh, I got that thing. Oh, I, I was just right on the bunny, too. Golly. Well, if there's... I'm not going to be able to get anything. Maybe I'll just go to bear. Just because I, I get anything over here, and it's not, like, dead on. It's probably just going to fall out onto there anyways, right? So, yeah, let's just try and get whatever this... I guess we get this bear. Just better than nothing. I didn't even get it. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's just go watch the movie. Small genie with plush. Okay, cool. There you go. <laughs> have we ever talked to these guys? And by the way, is this text different because we have the mod installed? I don't know. Simon, don't you want something healthy? <sighs> okay, and he's got a big bucket of popcorn right there. Mom, I want candy. Slurp. What is he slurping on? Just got a popcorn bucket right there. <laughs> All right, there's Alex. Let's see what he says about the movie. This movie seems kind of nerdy, but I'll give it a shot. Oh, yeah, because he's like a jock or whatever, right? Oh, he says the same thing. What about this guy? Is he new? Corner guy. Yeah, I forgot about that. He's literally called Corner Guy. I just saw the movie end. Relax. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Okay, is that it? Okay, <laughs> I guess that's good. I'm like, isn't it like a documentary or something like that? So how can you spoil a documentary about the planet I'm on? Anyways, <laughs> welcome to the contestants, man. What would Alex like? A salmon bird? Doesn't he like salmon dinner? I feel like I gave him salmon dinner like three or four times. Maybe a salmon burger. That'd be really good. What else do we have? Apple slices, popcorn, jawbreaker. Let's do salmon dinner or salmon burger. Just because I feel like that's like his, like I said, salmon dinner, it might be right up his alley, maybe like salmon, maybe like salmon. Hey, there's Penny and Pam! Have we ever seen anyone else in the theater? I feel like I've only ever gone to the theaters when it was just empty and there was no one else there. But hey, there's Penny and Pam. At least they're spending some quality time together, right? Hey, Penny! Hey, Penny! We're watching the same movie! Shh! Shut up, Wolf. No, I'm trying to watch a movie. <laughs> Natural Wonders. Exploring our vibrant world. The Fern Islands, a tropical paradise 80 miles off the southern coast. The islands formed due to volcanic activity in the region and are still growing. Whoa, looks like Alex is falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, he's dozing off. And he's eating the salmon, but now is, he, is that going to wake him up? It did! We got a heart right there. Alex is really enjoying the salmon burger. The warm climate of the southern ocean allows for extreme biodiversity. In short, the island is teeming with life. Yeah, we got crabs right there, palm trees, dandelions, or whatever. Now, we move north to the bustle of Zuzu City. It's a world of concrete and steel, illuminated by the glow of city lights. The conditions may be harsh, but still, we find abundant life. Yeah, there's like a pigeon just walking on the sidewalk casually. <laughs> Far to the west, alone in the vast gem sea, lies Prairie Island. 
In spite of its name, this land is home to a diverse array of natural biomes. Ooh. Now that is a lost opportunity for like DLC, right? Unless, is, is there already a prairie island? I don't even know about it. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> the island is known for its abundant population of raccoons. Oh, here we go, here we go, this is us. Finally, we return to the mainland to visit one of the most pleasant areas of the continent, Stardew Valley. The temperate climate of the valley is the perfect home for a variety of woodland creatures and insects. What a beautiful place. Yeah, we got squirrels, birds, uh, butterflies, uh, whatever else. The movie has concluded for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the show. Now, what time is it, though? It was like 7, I think, when we came here. Time even passed? I don't even know. Hey, Penny, how'd you like the movie? Don't even want to talk to me. Okay, there you go. Penny is engaging in a lively discussion about the film. Yeah, with me, her husband. Pam is engaged. Okay. What about Alex? What do you have to- Man, we get the crane guys back. I can't tell if that was boring or if I'm just not smart enough to understand it. How can you not understand? It was literally just showing where you literally were. You were on Fern Island. You were on Ginger Island a minute ago. You're currently on where it ended Stardew Valley. I don't know what you're talking about, Alex. <laughs> and I don't even know. Is that is that one of the new dialogues or was that like a default dialogue there? I don't know. I can't tell anymore. I can't tell if I'm... Oh, yeah, he's just saying the same thing again. Again. Now, can I take something for the road? No, I can't. What about Crane Guy? Is he getting anything good? Almost got it. Yeah, don't go for the ones on the right. You can never get those, unfortunately, but... I got two Junimos in my own tour. Or are they called Junimos? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Look at the trash. All right, well, I guess we'll put those new Junimos up in the Gungus and Prumbus's room. I think it's called, right? Oh, yeah, she's got the uh, green one right there. So, uh, let's actually grab that. Put that... There you go. Baby one next to the big green one and then we'll put a pink one there we'll put a gold one here can i put that back no i can't okay so there you go we got tons of genemos in there so uh 9 40 p.m we don't have that much time by the way is, is there new music i don't know if i ever heard this song before i feel like i'm going to get copy struck by it all right let's just go to bed at a relatively normal time go to bed before her 10 10 p.m let's go i don't know i might have missed out on something overnight maybe like one of the preserving jars might have been done or something like that. i don't know but hey we got some good money overnight though that's pretty good all right, so it's the morning time. We'll see if Penny has anything new to say or if she's saying the same thing we've heard a thousand times before. I love to hear about all the artifacts you found. To think there may have been farmers at this very spot 10,000 years ago. I feel like that's new. How many episodes have been literally multiple times per episode come over here and she says like the same. I don't even remember what it was. I just tuned it out of my head. I don't even remember what that phrase was that she always said every day. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you guys remember what her phrase was, but it seems like it's in the rear view mirror now. And when we get new text, we can actually look forward to what our wife says every morning. <laughs> Such a savage for no reason. By the way, Alex, this thing should have updated, right? It was at four out of eight. He's at four and a quarter. Did it go up there on? Hey, look at that. Prumpus is actually on here now. Yeah, he's at uh, one heart. So Let's definitely continue throwing him up in the air and continuing to grab a uh, gang gang hearts with him. There oh, jeez. <laughs> throwing away eye right there, golly. Anyways, let me do some of that morning business work. You guys know the deal, etc., etc. Oh, yeah, the genomes. They're not able to reach all the way up there. But man, look at all the chief. You can physically see all of them right here. It's really starting to grow. Yeah, I literally called it. <laughs> One of the preserving jars was indeed done. I don't, it might not have been done last night, but it's done now. It might have been done last night. Okay, we have four chief fruit that are actually done. I don't think there are any more inside the Junimo hut, though, but I'll check. Uh, let's see if we get eight seeds out of that. If so, that's good. Oh, wow, we actually have three more right there. Okay, good. Let's see if we can get 14 seeds then. And yet, we got seeds out of all four of those right there, so maybe we just had bad luck getting mixed seeds last time. I don't know, but we had four. We got seven back, so eh, once again, got basically double right there. A little bit less, though. Okay, we got three right there. We got six. Okay, so we did get double right there, so that's still good. It's Sunday. I think gifting resets on Monday, so we might want to go gift Alex and, uh... Oh, wait, no, it resets on Sunday. Wait, 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 resets on Monday, then? I don't know, but Sandy... Yeah, you guys left comments saying, uh, Sandy... I even literally looked it up what she likes, and I still gave her the wrong thing. So, uh, I think she likes forgeable flowers, so let's give her one of those. We do have some of the forgeable flowers over here, right? And we got a rid Yeah, because they're always going to be iridium star, because I have that thing that always makes iridium, or, uh, makes forgeable stuff iridium, so... That's good. We have a golden parsnip right there. We can give that Alex. So let's go to the desert. Uh, don't know. Oh, I do have Omni Geos. I could have traded, but lipsy daisy, right? Let's go give Sandy this Iridium Star Crocus thingy. Crocus? I don't even know. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Sweetie, won't you buy something? Uh, no, I'm going to gift you this. Ooh, I absolutely love getting flowers from the valley. I'm so happy. Seven out of ten. Hey, look at that. Some of the uh, oak resin is done. That's good. I guess we can go to the quarry, see if there's anything over there. 
Oh yeah, a lot of oak resin is done here. Golly, okay, let's grab those. I think we can cut down some of those extra trees. At least we'll get some uh, cheese seeds from those. Oh, jeez, we got a train passing through. Hold on. Yeah, I cut down a bunch of trees right there. I don't know how many chi beans I have in my inventory right now. Oh yeah, the, behind the house there are some trees. There is some trees over here too, but there's the front of it. See if anything falls off. There's, oh yeah, right there we got some geodes. I don't think there are going to be any uh, chi beans falling off of this. And of course there's a tree there, some rocks there I can break. Drink it. I don't know how many bombs in my inventory. Blow those up faster. I'm not getting anything. Oh wow, right as I say that, magma geodes. Wow, boom. Man, look at all those. I don't know if we can get Omni Geos out of these. That'd be amazing, especially to turn in for uh, artifact troves, right? Oh, that's the end of it. Golly. Anything else? Yeah, I don't think so. Look at all these frogs. Are these frogs? Wait, no, Leprechaun. Wait, what? Leprechaun? Jeez, I called them frogs. They kind of did look like frogs. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I forgot that you can find them on the top side, too. But, yeah, it seems like that's all right there. Man, I guess I'll cut down these trees. I don't know if I'll break all these rocks around here, though. Maybe if I had a bomb, I can go buy some from the dwarf. I was always taught to stay away from humans, but I'm glad that I decided to shun that rule. Is that a new text? I don't know if that was a new new, new dialogue right there, but uh, there you get a few mega bombs. Uh, let's blow some bombs up. I don't know, right there. I don't think my horse can die from the bombs, can he? I don't know. But, uh, there's a bomb blowing up right there. No more bombs here. Oh yeah, I got like 10 mega bombs, didn't I? Oh, what in the world? Why is there a frozen geo up there? What the heck? And a uh, regular bomb right there. They're, I don't think, yeah. Oh wait, hold on, up here. Yeah, you can get some uh, stuff out of those. Let's see. And we didn't get anything good out of that. Yeah, one geode though, not too bad, I guess. And that's pretty much it right there, man. All right, well, it's 1020. Let's go to the behind the house area, behind the bus stop area, whatever this is called. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah there are trees over here. I knew it. So we can get any more. Uh, I don't even think I got any cheesies right there. Yeah, look at that. I got cheesy right there, though. I don't think I got any from blowing up those bombs, unfortunately. Man. Yeah, 17. That's still a pretty good amount of uh, chi seeds. Golly. Always have to hesitate to call it the right thing, not like a chi fruit or whatever else. But anyways, plant these bad boys down. Actually, now I think about it. We might have potatoes up in storage. I could have just put in kegs straight up. And I, yeah, yeah. Speaking of stuff. Oh, wait, no. The ancient food wine is going to be done tomorrow. That's actually almost perfect timing. There you guys. 19 hours till those are going to be done. Yeah. Man, we have so many leprechaun shoes. I, I guess we're going to have a heckin' dresser full of leprechaun shoes here pretty soon, huh? Yeah, put those up inside there. How many do I have? I have one, two, three. Only three. Four. It's not all organized, unfortunately, but uh, still, that's four more than I actually need. <laughs> Let's see if Penny has another unique thing to say today. Now that winter's over, we've got lots of productive weather to look forward to. That's true. And it's already a week into spring, and you're still saying that, but still. Oh, man, I forget to check up on the traveling merchant, see what she had yesterday, but uh, throw my baby up in the air. <laughs> oh, gosh, we have a lot of, uh, what are those things called? Mr. Chi fruit over there, so that's going to be interesting. Let's see how many of those we're actually going to get seeds out of. How many we're we going to get mixed seeds out of. I guess we'll have to watch out, make sure we're getting mixed seeds. I'm just, don't we already have that from Sandy? Forward in the desert. Yeah, well, I guess that kind of signifies that she moved up a friendship level. She gave us a random recipe right there. All right, so how many of those chief fruit are we about to pick up right now? Let's see. All these goofy ones with literal faces with sunglasses on them. <laughs> oh, yeah, the potatoes. Yeah, the potatoes are done, too. So let's go check up on the kegs and see how long until those are going to be done. And you know what? I think I might be able to make more kegs, too, right? Because I've got a lot of wood and whatnot. Let's see if we could actually make some more kegs here in a minute, too. Let's go put these all in the seed machines and see if we're going to double this number, which is currently 58. Golly, are we going to get 116 out of these? Okay, that's all of those in my inventory. I don't know what the number is. I'm not looking at the bottom left or whatever, but this should be the last round. Let's grab all of these and then these whenever these are done. Let's see what the number is. Still not looking at the bottom, but I keep clicking on that. There you go. Okay. We're at 114. Okay, so still about the 50-ish percent mark, probably more close to 49 percent, considering we never got more than double. We always get either double or slightly less than double, so still pretty heckin' good, though, you guys. And it's only the eighth, so if I plant all these down, I get 114 chief fruit out of them. Yeah, wow, we'll probably have 500 of these things shipped before the middle of the month at this rate. Golly. So let me go plant all these down. I'm sure we have enough space, because I purposely didn't plant down, like, anything except for the chief fruit. <laughs> And let's go see if we can make any kegs for Pam and get her some potato juice, but we all know what it actually is. <laughs> yeah, we can. We can make 34 of them. We have enough wood, copper bar, iron bar, oak resin. Yeah, need to grab the oak resin and pine tar that's done at the bottom of the base, but I forget how many kegs I need to make, so let's get like, I don't know, 15 just as a start. That's going to be enough. How many potatoes do I need? Strong stuff. We only need 12. Okay, cool. So I have enough kegs to actually process all of that. Let's see if we have enough room for 15 kegs in here. And, oh gosh, yeah, those are all done right there. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I forgot to put the ancient fruit in the uh, kegs out front until the very end, but there we go. 
Let me grab all the heckin' ancient fruit here. It looks like a few slots here in the front. I forgot the heck and put ancient fruit in. Yeah, let's get all the potato wine going right now, sure. We have 12 going right there, so that's perfect enough for uh, Pam. Uh, 12 and 12. Yeah, put them in Pam's kitchen. <laughs> I'll just tell uh, Penny that it's potato juice while I'm here waiting. Let's see. Uh, should I do? Yeah, let's do star fruit again. And by the way, yeah, it's Monday, so I can get another uh, special request. So let's go to the island real quick, see if we have another chi quest. We can stack on top of the chi fruit one that we already have, as well as a regular special request in town, too. Forgot about that. But anyways, let's go to the island real quick, grab another Mr. Chi quest or whatever it's called, and then on the way back home from the island, and go with a special request. Man, there's coffee done over here. Golly. But on our way back home from the island, we can get a special request from the special request board. Oh gosh, the star food over here is done too. Golly. We're in Mr. Cheese area here. So we have, uh, let's play a game. Oh gosh, how I like that. So you think you can score 50,000 points in Junimo Kart Endless Mode. Prove it. What even is Junimo Kart? I've seen people comment about it. Where do you play it? Uh, seven days to do that. We get 10 chi gems from that. And then, oh, cheese hungry challenge again. Should I do that? Or should I? Yeah, you know what? We've done cheese hungry challenge for a while. Maybe whenever I have a hundred staircases, I'll do cheese hunger challenge. Maybe this would incentivize me to actually check out what this Junimo cart thingy is. Let's see if we can get uh, 50,000 points in endless mode. That'd be pretty interesting. Let's accept that. And I guess I have to go. Let's go look it up real quick before I actually accept this. What is Junimo cart? Where is it? How do I play it? Junimo cart arcade system. What in the world? Oh, it's in the Star Drop Saloon. We have 840 right now. Maybe I can play a little bit right now or, you know, on my way back home. Maybe I can play a little bit of it. Guess I'm going to go over in that general area anyways to get another uh, special request from the special request board. But for right now, it's 850. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grab all the coffee and star food over here, but I'll try to grab a pretty good amount of them. Yeah, here we go. Here's the special request board. Let's see. We got Rob's Resource Rush and Gus's fam famous omelet. I guess we can do Rob's Resource Rush. We can continue to kind of justify us. Which one is this wood? Ooh, I don't think I'll if I can get Because like all the trees are already cut down. I could try it though. Uh, but hey, at least it's going to incentivize us to try and get more chi beans and whatnot. But just going by what we saw earlier, we might be able to get that mission done before the heck in the middle of the month. It's crazy, but I know it's which one. Oh, yeah, so there's like multiple arcade. Which one is it? Is it this one? Is this the first one? Oh, that's Journey of the Prairie King. Here it is, Junimo. Man, how did I never play this? Which one was it called? Endless mode? Yeah, endless mode. 50,000 points. I'll try it. And I assume pause or time is paused in the background. So how's this work? Lewis, 50,000. So I have to beat Mayor Lewis's uh, points. Shane, Sam, so what is this? Is this like a... Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, there you go. Okay, so you just have to... Oh man, I missed that coin, golly. So you get like... Oh no! Oh, I jumped way too early there, golly! So what's our... Okay, so that's not my best. That's like the overall best right there, but... Uh, oh, there you go. So how... I don't know the... Wait, what was that? How did I fall? Oh, it's because the waterfall in the middle was trying to... Kind of shred to me, but... Seems like... There you go. Ooh. Wait, can I do it with the... Okay, I can do it with that button, too. The same as fishing. Okay, good. So what... what is, man, I got hit by a rock! How did that even happen? Golly. Alright, well, I need to keep an eye on what my points are. So we're at 1,400, like, only 10 seconds after starting, so... I feel... Oh, man, I'm gonna get... Ooh. How do you, like, not get hit by the rock there, though? They're all... They, wait, hold on. Yeah, I can't, like, move left and right. Uh, like, like, control moving left and right to kind of avoid the... Man! Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I, okay, so that's what the, I, I thought it was like saying boo on the top left corner. But no, it's that's the cherry there. That's like something else there. It looks like maybe grape there. So that's what that those collectibles are. Okay, interesting. Ooh. Probably after a bunch of practice, I'll be able to master this. But uh, there's the orange. Yes. Oh, man. Then I fall. How do you get that? Ah, and what's the coin do? Is that <laughs> just fall off right there? So we're at 100. Okay, so it was 100 points for the coins, so definitely want to do that to- Man! Definitely want to try and get the coins to try and bolster our, uh... How did I not jump right there? Oh, it's, it's always ra- it's not like the same thing every time, so it's like a random thing. Every time you load up- Man! Ah, okay. Let me keep playing this, I'll probably have to get that a bunch of footage. <laughs> oh man, I missed that orange. But I am pretty far- Oh yeah, that is a, uh... What is that, grape? So, man, I don't know if I missed out on something by not. Oh, I'm at the end of the- Man, I got 8,000 points, not bad. Ooh, I'm on level two now, holy heck. Let's try and get the cherry, there you go. Oh wait, hold on, my, my points carried over though, so that's good. So I'm like a fifth the way there, you guys. Let's try and let's continue doing this. There you go, orange. No, I'm gonna- Man, I'm out, I was only halfway- Wait, no! But you die and you start back here anyway, golly. 
All right, guys. I feel like I feel like I might have to have like an episode dedicated to Genimo card or something like that. Maybe that'll be next episode. So, uh, anyways. Oh man, I got the cherry, and I'm like, oh, I got the orange. Oh, no, I'm gonna fuck, man. Ah, uh, I don't know if there's like a huge bonus if you get all three of the fruit. Oh man, I don't even get that one right there. <laughs> but my best was only like eleven thousand eight hundred, I think. So, oh, oh. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Never mind. <laughs> All right, this will be the last attempt, and then we'll we'll end off. We'll go home, sleep. I don't know what time it is actually. Uh, end off the episode, probably. Okay, there you go. I guess I guess we're ending off the episode there. So yeah, like I said, I think my best was like eleven thousand. Yeah, eleven thousand eight hundred third place right there. So not too bad, at least in my head of Sam. <laughs> Abigail got only five thousand, even though she literally plays video games in her room all day, right? But anyways, uh, I'm like I'm on the talk. I'm literally doing that right now. But eleven twenty right now. Uh, is there anything else I really need to do? I don't think so. Tomorrow morning, we're probably going to get a bunch more chief fruit done and later next episode, if the whole episode isn't literally just me doing genie mode cart all day. <laughs> later next episode, we're probably going to get 113 or so more chief fruit to put inside the seed makers. Get like 200 something chief fruit out of that and then just need to do a couple more rounds and then boom, we're at like 500 already. So I don't know, let's go to sleep for the night and let's see what's happening overnight. I don't know. Did I sell? Yeah, I did sell the stuff. So we got 300,000 overnight. Amazing. And uh, see if there's anything happening at the night spring. Oh, man, I might have missed out on people's birth. I wasn't even paying attention. So <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's look at the calendar. Was there? Oh, it was Mayor Lewis's birthday a couple of days ago. Whoopsie daisy. But he's already maxed out, isn't he? I think he's already maxed out. I don't think we have to worry. Yeah, he's already maxed out. So it's not even that big of a deal. So <laughs> next up is Vincent's. I think he's mixed, maxed out. As yeah, he's maxed out as well. And the egg festival. Haley's not maxed out, is she? Well, she is for a, a, a marriage candidate. So. Can't do anything there. Pam's maxed out, I think. And then there's Shane. I think he's not maxed out. He's still like, yeah, he two more hearts still. He's maxed out. I guess we can start looking forward to maxing him out pretty soon. Uh, Pierre's not maxed out. One of the world thought he was. And Emily is for the marriage candidate and whatnot. And other than that, everyone else is maxed out for the rest of the month. So that's awesome there. But I know, let's see if Pam has another or Penny. Not indicating that you look anything like uh, Pam there, Penny. Golly. <laughs> I have to go into town today, don't work too hard and eat something. Yeah, see, she said that a billion times before. Why did it not, uh, did, did it just happen to roll the usual text there or, or what? I don't know. Or do I actually not have that mod installed correctly? I don't know. But either way, uh, hug, kiss, etc. But yeah, next episode, we're going to get even more of these chief fruit done. Probably going to get like 500 of them shipped before like the 15th or 14th or whatever. So that's going to be crazy. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. Because like I said earlier, I'm probably going to do that Junimo cart thing uh, probably all next episode. And it's just going to be a big like fail compilation until I inevitably maybe get 50,000 points. I don't know. I guess you guys have to wait until next episode to find out. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And me and Prumbus will see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Uh, whoops, I just picked up the rug. Uh, let me try that again. <laughs> oh, bye there.